Today's throwback, Madam Tinubu, the Egba woman whose name and legacy still define legacy's reward for tenacity. Richest Nigerians of the 1800s and the early 1900s and the timeless lessons we must learn from them for lasting riches. I must start this short literary biopic with a stern intellectual warning. Madam Efuroye Tinumbu's bittersweet life, when put to review by modern literary critics, must not be subjected to the ash lens, quote unquote, of presentism, of presentism, that is the practice of interpreting and evaluating past events and historical figures based on present day moral, social, and cultural standards. And Furo Yetinumbu, 1810 to 1887, born Efuro Yetinumbu, was a peculiarly enigmatic Yoruba female merchant and slave trader in pre colonial and colonial Lagos, Nigeria. Quote unquote. She was a politically and economically astute and influential figure in Lagos during the reigns of Obas or Kings, Adele, Dosumu, Oluwole, and Akitoye, helping the latter two Obas to attain the throne. She married Oba Adele while he was in exile and followed him to Lagos on his reinstallation. She used his connections to establish a successful trading network with the Portuguese, Spanish and Brazilian merchants in slaves, tobacco, salt, cotton, palm oil, coconut oil, and firearms. She reportedly owned over 360 personal slaves, some of whom she used to constitute a standing militia. She indeed had her own army. She reportedly, she Reportedly next to the Olota of Otto and the mainland, had owned the largest piece of real estate on mainland Lagos, a sprawling kola nut farm, Igobi, from whence the Igobi name was coined, was said to have encompassed the whole of where the National Orthopedic Hospital is in Igobi today, and as far as and as far westward as Obele and where Lou, Lagos University Teaching Hospital, is presently located. Madame Tinumbu died in 1887 and was buried in Ojokodo quarters of the ancient city of Abel Okuta after she had been declared persona non grata in Lagos due to her refusal to stop trading in slaves and also after she had deployed, she had deployed her wealth and connections to supply arms and ammunition to Egba forces in the battle with which they liberated themselves from the rapacious Daomis, a role which earned her the highly esteemed title of Yellow Day Egba. The famous Tinumbu Square on Lagos Island, a place originally known as Ita Tinumbu, Tinumbu's Court, was changed to Independence Square in the First Republic before it was reverted to its former or original name. Also, a statue memorializing our stance in Abelkuta today, the didactic, Madame Tinumbu's heroic life, both before and after her death, portrays a woman of purpose, determination, grit, and strategy. She, like many go-getter men of all times, refused to let fear define her life. She reportedly married up to five times, her first in her natal Owu, second to Oba Adele, and thrice later to work captains in Lagos and Abeokuta after her eviction from Lagos. That's it on the show tonight. And Bola Oba, have a good night.